So what up, basketball fans? You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy, Shake. And these are the top five most important tweaks that need to be adjusted for NBA 2K13 before release day. You guys were asking us if there was a few things that we saw in the gameplay that we uh, could suggest that could be fixed before the game comes out. Maybe there were some issues. Maybe we would point out a few things that you guys already caught and were already adjusting for the, the newer build that you guys were already playing on. So I wanted to make this quick video to give you guys a breakdown of what I saw that I thought needed to be tweaked a little bit. Just a couple of things that I thought I would, I would do you guys a good service to at least keep in mind before the game comes out, some things that we discussed. Number one on that list, and this is in no particular order of importance, but I think that these things would really make 2K13 stand out and play a little bit more legit. Number one, on fast breaks, there is a player speed hesitation. It usually comes when you hold the right trigger. Right before you take off, the man does a little pause. This was a big problem in 2K12. If you get a steal, that little hesitation that he does, no one else does that except for the ball handler. Uh, it actually still exists in 2K13, so if you guys could somehow clean that little hesitation up, um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty much a light hesitation that takes place the moment you steal the ball and you hit the right trigger to take off. He goes into an animation to, to jolt off, but that animation is pretty sluggish. It's a little bit of a pause and it, it breaks the game speed down. Number two, um, 2K basketball has been notorious for traveling. traveling. Um, I, there were some cases that traveling takes place. It's usually just an animation uh, off of the dribble. Some things that you guys may not be able to handle, uh, you know, fixing because it is a video game. But the fake shot traveling, that is something I'm sure you guys could at least, you know, tighten up a little bit more. Maybe in the build that we was playing is uh, a build that maybe that was cleaned up in the later build, but. So far, that still exists in the game. You pump fake. If you pump fake enough, the guy keeps inching forward, inching closer, and that just doesn't look too good. I know that the, the travel call is in the game, and it does take place at times, but we did see it in the, little, in the little quarters that we got a chance to play on. Number three, in the build that we played on, the alley-oops was way too easy. It was really easy to just throw alley-oops almost every play, back-to-back alley-oops. If you guys could tighten up the defense, maybe make that a little bit more uh, realistic, somehow limit the opportunities that alley-oops take place. 2K12, at times if you alley-ooped, there were many times where the guy wouldn't attack the ball. This is great in 2K13 that there's a lot of awareness. It just seemed a little too easy. I know that you guys mentioned that in the new build, that wasn't going to be the case. The, the build that you guys play on, alley-oops off the glass is not necessarily the case. That's all good. That's all fine and dandy in my opinion. I'm glad you guys already addressed that. Let's just make sure that by the time 2K13 comes out, that people aren't alley-ooping back-to-back plays <laughs> on, every, on every possession. Number four. This was something that I spoke to, I believe, Jerson, Mike Wang. I spoke to you guys personally about this. The audio. The audio. The audio. I know you guys said you're going to send an email to the audio department, but please, please put the sound back into blocking. On defense, the block is the biggest expression that a person could have. The block shot is pretty much the dunk on defense. It's the most aggressive thing that takes place, but there's no sound. There hasn't been sound on block shots since NBA 2K10. And even then I can still be mistaken about that. So please put the audio back into block shots. Heighten the audio on dunks. The audio needs to really, really kick in this game. I'm a big audio guy. I love putting explosions and, ex and extra sound into games. That's gonna really stick with people when they hear that rumble on the rim and when they hear that, that palming of the ball when you slap a man's shot out of bounds. You gotta put that back into the game. Get with the audio guys. Please send an email, do what you can. Let's get that in the game before 2K13 drops. Last but not least, number five would be the game wrap up in my player mode in 2k12 at the end of a game you had three choices game stats performance and quit you couldn't look at the player of the game you had no chance to look at the press book you couldn't even look at the game reel or the hot zones and most importantly the signature highlights 
those are some phenomenal features you guys had that in 2k11 it's not in 2k12 obviously we didn't get a chance to experience the fourth quarter in the demo that we got a chance to play but it would be phenomenal if you guys could put that back into my player there's tons of people that beg for that shakedown how are you getting my how are you getting the player of the game you got to put that back into my player it gives us a lot of opportunities to see where we miss shots also it gives us an opportunity to see the highlights again and and basically get a chance to see what we were excited about during that game so please put the game wrap up back into my player mode if it's in the game if it's in my player mode that would be phenomenal so that's pretty much the top five things that i can think of right now based on the gameplay that we played at 2k13 team up you guys could adjust a few things that'll be phenomenal it's your boy shake i'll holler at you, holler dudes, at you later. dudes later